wall is a high fly to the deep left center field. Butner goes back to the fans. It is gone. Here's the pitch on the way. A swing and a belt. Left field. Way back. Blue Jays win it. The Blue Jays are World Series champions. As Joe Carter hits a three-run home run in the ninth inning. And the Blue Jays have repeated as World Series champions. The Giants throw. Swing and a miss. And that's it. The Giants. For the first time in 52 years, the Giants are world champions as they come pouring out of the dugout. The one-two. Breaking ball. Hugging the line. This one's got a chance to go. Go! Big fly for Albert Pujols. Number 600. One, two. Chop up the middle. Rojas to the first. There it is. There it is. And somewhere to the twin. And for the first time in 17 years, the Marlins are going to the postseason. Yes, indeed. Game two is a victory on an Orange Friday. So I had to play the intro clip. It just crossed my mind. I was like, wait a minute. It's Friday, and the Giants get the first victory of 2024, and the bats are loud. The pitching much better today. The relief pitching, the starting pitching solid. Kyle Harrison has got the stuff. And he was phenomenal today going out there and just looked fantastic uh, for Harrison. And, uh, yeah, I gave up a couple of big, big hits we're going to see in a second. But overall, the stuff was there. Swing and miss stuff. This guy's going to have a phenomenal season for the San Francisco Giants. But I think even more important was the offense today. Some of the big flies that we saw. And uh, there's Kyle right there striking out, guys. The Giants. Got off to a big lead, never relinquished it. The Padres had some, 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 you know, they had some resistance, but it was never enough. Uh, what's up, Steve? AM Echo, Johnny, Jenny Vega. We're going to go ahead and recap this one with some highlights as well. Justin uh, Blake Snell still working his way back. He'll be back very quickly. Would have been nice to see him pitch against the Padres, but it took too long to sign him. Johnny Mor 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 Morgan Farmer. The A's gave away a magnet. And uh, seven of them, people were leaving them everywhere, throwing them away. What? What? That would have done the same thing. Start grabbing them off the ground. You know what's up, Morgan Farmer. Go ahead and ship me one of those. I appreciate that. Just playing. Got Dave Auburn Giants. They haven't said anything. What's up, Linda? The Kalioki Connection. What a phenomenal game. Giants take the victory. And uh, Kyle freaking Harrison with the W. And uh, what, what a game right here. Just a solid win right here. And uh, we got this one on lock. So the Giants win game two of the season, game two of the series. Let's break this one down. Thank you, everyone, for jumping into the post-game show. Chapman, holy crap. Two. Uh, the crazy thing about it, if I, I haven't looked this up, but from what I'm told in the comments, J.D. Davis hit two home runs today earlier. So it's like, Chapman must have been like, wait, 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 hold up. J.D. Davis hit two home runs? Giants fans are going to be talking shit. I got to go hit two home runs. And he did it. Holy crap. Oh, we got a super chat. Gabe Hunkin. Gabe Hunkin comes through. This is going to be a fun year. Let's go. Gigante. Vamos. Thank you so much. That's 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 not that's no small super chat. That is a biggie. Thank you so much. 1999, basically a 20 spot right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Dul Samaras Chapman had a hot first month. He did have an injury. What was that? A hand, a hand or a wrist, something. Happened to him last year with the Blue Jays, and and he just never got right. But I think that he has had the entire offseason to get well, and obviously he's perfectly healthy now. So let's hope there's no injuries like that, and and, and hopefully uh, he'll be just fine this year. Um, Solaire got his first hit of the Giant. Big hits today. 
um, just all day. Thank you again for that super chat. Trust me, that's amazing. And I, 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 I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and the breakdown of this one. So this game gets started eight to three. The final score in this baseball game. Uh, the Giants win it. What did I predict? Five to two. Uh, not too bad. I don't remember exactly what I think. I think five to six to two. Uh, pretty close. Uh, so in this one, Jung Hoo Lee got things started. He has been hitting the ball hard through two games. This guy's not a bust. This guy is going to make the conversion from Korea to the States. Base hit to start things off. Um, but unfortunately, Jorge Soler hit a double play. But then Lamont Wade Jr. got a base hit. And up to the plate stepped none other than Matt Chapman. So with two outs and one on, here's Matt Chapman. Hit to center field. On the move is his oak car. Still on the move. He leaps. And it is out of here. And just like that, it's 2 nothing. Well, he didn't miss that one, Mike. Matt Chapman with his first home run and not last. And I know that for a fact. It is now a fact that it would, that won't be his last home run as a giant. But even when he hit it, we knew it wouldn't be his last. So a big home run makes it two to nothing giants. Um, and then Michael Conforto gets a base hit. Tyro Estrada with a base hit. Giants are coming through up 3 nothing at this point. Things are looking absolutely marvelous. Okay, the game kind of slowed down from there, but as I said, Harrison uh, was pitching great. In the top of the fourth inning, Tyra Estrada flies out. Bailey walked. Nick Ahmed was hit by pitch. Stop hitting our guys. What's going on there with Joe Musgrove? Kept on hitting our dudes. Stop hitting our freaking guys! Jung Hoo Lee. Jung Hoo Lee stepped up. On the ground and a base hit for Lee. Here comes Bailey. And it's 4-0 on the hit by Jung Hoo Lee. You're going to see a lot of middle of the field approach from Jung Hoo Lee. Oh, yeah, just a mistake in location from Musgrove. You don't ever want to leave an off-speed pitch up. And Lee makes him pay. Jung Hoo Lee comes through big time right there. The comments are rolling in as we recap this one. It's your boy, PK Man, Dave Auburn, Richmond. What is up? So at that point in time, I wasn't getting my hopes up too high, but clearly things were looking phenomenal. But then a little chink in the armor of Kyle Harrison as Manny Machado stepped up to the plate. That's where Kyle Harrison has lived so far. It's high or higher. To deep left for Machado. Deep, far, very gone! Manny Machado connects on his second home run of this young season. And the pot So Manny Machado with the big fly. 4-1 to one. Giants. Not even a problem. Uh, Giants would uh, come to bat in the top of the... Uh, actually, first in the bottom of the sixth inning, the uh, Padres had to add one more. Tatis Jr. hit one on an absolute mile. To try for another comeback victory. High drive, deep left field for Fernando. It is gone. First home run of 2024 for Fernando Tatis Jr. So Tatis hit one at an uh, absolute tape measure blast. But the good thing is, because Kyle Harrison's not walking guys, not giving up hits, those were both solo home runs. So they weren't too damaging. And in the top of the seventh inning, uh, Jorge Soler got his first hit as a giant with a double. So he's in the hit column now. And Matt Chapman, can he come through again? Chapman, a home run, a line drive out to Tatis in right field, and then a fly ball to left. Line drive into left center field. And nobody's there. Coming around to score is Soler. And Chapman's got an RBI double in a two-strike count. So big double right there. Matt Chapman coming through for the San Francisco Giants, followed by last year's best player, Wilmer Flores. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Chapman. 
Wilmer Flores comes through. And right here, the Giants are taking control of this game. But one more explanation mark that we got to watch. Matt Chapman again with the big fly. High and deep to left. And out of here. Oh, oh my goodness. Luis Matos liked it. Oh, you don't see me hit up there. My goodness. What a blast right there from Chapman. Uh, Tatis also hit a second home run. Eight to three, the final score. And that's your recap brought to you by Dave Auburn, Giants fan. Wow. So there you have nice swing, beautiful swing from Matt Chapman. The bat is smoking. Clearly, he's going to be the player of the game. Spoiler alert for, for three hits, two home runs. But there's other guys. to be, Three home runs, three runs total. I'll take that, but prefer not to. Robert Hamilton is here. Logan Villafuerte. Dos honrones for Matt Chapman. Inconsequential, the two solo shots. We got another 20 spot, and uh, it is from... Linda Rocha con 20 dollars had to beat the last super chat by a penny. Love the shirt. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh, where did I, where did I go here? Where am I? Where am I? Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Love the shirt. Oh, yeah, we got a special shirt right here with the baseball cards. So appreciate this. Uh the gift from the papa. Very nice. Very nice. This is bomb right here. Um, this is waiting for the right moment to break it out. And clearly this was the day. Jung Hu Lee, Timothy, thank you for being here. Um, uh, Micah, uh, Musgrove hasn't looked great recently. Not at all. I, I thought he was going to look better today. Um, but he definitely hasn't improved much from spring training he Had a rough spring. You don't really put too much stock into that normally from an experienced pitcher, but obviously for him, uh, he has got, he's in some kind of funk right now. But absolutely, thank you so much for that super chat right there. Um, Linda Rocha, extremely generous. I, I, I don't know what to say, man. This is, this is huge. You guys are awesome. I appreciate the amazing support. What a win today. The Giants take it, and uh, we just got to keep it going. Keep it going, no doubt about it. Super chats are rolling. We got Johnny in the, in the house. Pala Rosa, pa, uh, sorry, Pala Rosa. Que pasa? We got another one here. Salvation Army Rancho Cordova Corps, one ninety nine. Salvation Army Rancho Cordova Corps has been hooking it up for years. What a win! Let's go. I appreciate it. Jung Bruce Lee, nice nickname right there. I'm glad the Giants signed Matt Chapman. Please tap the like. Tap it. Just tap it. Tap it in. Um, and a, a big W for the Giants on this day. So uh, this is the, the team that we wanted to see. Um, we saw some signs of it yesterday, but full out today. Now, obviously, not every game is going to go this well, but clearly this team has the potential to do massive damage. Jung Hu Lee is already here early on tearing it up, He's hitting 375 early on in the season. Wager is hitting 429. Matt Chavin, 444. Conforto, 444. Bailey even hitting 333 with two hits today. Ahmed hitting 333 despite going over three. Tough day today for him, but all the batting, I mean, not all of them, a couple of guys are still waiting to warm up like Flores and um, and uh, Soler. Soler did get his first hit as a giant, scored two runs, walked today. A lot of production from this lineup today. Just a, a huge uh breakout day for the Giants with eight runs and shout out also to the pitching staff Landon Roop making his major league debut that gets lost in all of this and this is the greatest day of Landon Roop's life y'all understand that today is the greatest day in Landon Roop's life I think I think I assume and maybe he's married or something in the wedding day but this got to be up there. Landon Roop made his big league debut and threw a scoreless inning. So shout out to Landon Roop for uh, that. Brian Walker, after a shaky day yesterday, 
came up today. Bob Melvin said, get out there, build you some confidence. We believe in you who threw a scoreless inning as well. And Tyler Rogers uh, gave up a one home run, uh, one run to uh, Tatis Jr. But other than that, he was okay as well. So the bullpen looked much better. Three innings, one run. Three innings, one run for the bullpen. If they'd have done that yesterday, we would we would have got we probably would have got the W. So unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen yesterday. But Kyle Harrison, six innings, two runs given up, five strikeouts, and um, the only two runs were on solo shots from two of the best players in the game. This club can win. Tom Dolan, Roop looked good, lots of movement. Roop did definitely look good. Now PK man, sorry, but Kings need quick length forwards. They don't have Lyles. Or Skull Labasir. Uh yeah. NBA talk. Um Kings got uh, got off to a good start. You know, uh, a little rough rough stretch. Let's see how the standing are just out of curiosity here. Uh in the Western Conference there. Now 42 and 30. Um seventh place, eight and a half back. Looking good for an, an, a clear playoff run. Uh, unless things go south. Kings will be in the playoffs. Uh we got PK. Um as for did they lose? I don't even know. I am not going to bull crap. They lost to the Dallas Mavericks in Sacramento, 107 103. Um, let's see what happened there. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox, 23 points. Harrison Barnes, 20 points. Nobody cares. I'm just looking. Okay. Okay. Got to catch up on that. Thank you for that. Jenny Vega, what's going on? Logan, what's going on? What an absolute game for Chapman. Two home runs, five RBIs. What a freaking beast. And shout out again, Kyle Harrison, very strong today as well. Uh, had good movement on his stuff. And I'm excited about what Kyle Harrison's going to do. I'm excited about what we're going to see from Logan Webb. And then also, Tomorrow, there's a baseball game. I think it's a little bit earlier because it's a getaway day for the Giants. We are bouncing up out of San Diego. Let me try to bring up the info on that. Um, we should also do scores throughout baseball. I'll try to do that in a little bit. Um, but tomorrow is a it says 7.15 Eastern, so that would be 4.15 Pacific time. Tomorrow for the Giants. Uh, 88 view, 88 view, 88. Holy crap! 88 viewers, join us in here. Thank you. It says 82 at the moment. That's that's amazing. That is amazing. You know, we 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 don't we 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 we're modest here, the Home Baby Baseball Channel. Okay, we do big things, but you know, we're not we're not we're not like thousands of viewers. Okay, we ain't ball cap sports over here. We like to keep it a relatively small community. You know. Like when you go to college, you go small. You like some people like small classes. Some people like thousands of people. We we keep it relatively small. We keep it relatively small, um, not necessarily by choice, but that's just the way it is. Um, but you know, we like the small community. You know, actually, actually, real talk. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to have thousands of people, but sometimes those streams, you you know, can't even read the comments. Move Soler down in the lineup. I'd rather have Estrada bat second. Soler suited to bat third or fourth. Yeah, it is interesting. Soler, where they where they put Soler. Um, second as, as a power hitting DH. It's 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 a. Uh, I mean, hey, everyone's got their idea. You know, uh, uh, this guy Bob Melvin's been around the game for his whole life, and he's been a manager for a long, long, long time. Works with the front office. For all we know, they they dictate some of this stuff. I don't think they dictate as much as they did to Kapler, but I think they dictate quite a freaking bit. It is definitely a team effort. It's not just the manager. The lineup should be the managers, but I'm pretty sure the front office has. Some pretty strong influence there. Um, but yeah, uh, see if we can find out the early preview for tomorrow's game. Uh, can I find that here? It, it looks like it's going to be Jordan Hicks. Now, Jordan Hicks. Took a while to stretch out. He didn't pitch a whole ton in spring training. I saw him pitch. He looked good. And then he threw in that last exhibition game against the A's in Oakland, he threw five strong. Was it five scoreless? He might have given up a run, but he looks great. He looks great. He'll be taking on Dylan Cease, who was recently traded to the Padres. Um, Dylan Cease is not exactly unhittable. You know, he's he's good. He's a, he's a 
solid guy, but this could be a very good matchup. Um, and for the White Sox, last year, 7-9, and 4.58 ERA and 33 starts. Uh, he was really good in 2022, basically unstoppable in 2022, almost won the Cy Young. That's kind of where he made a name for himself. Last year, still good. The strikeout stuff is definitely legit. But he's not unhittable. He gave up 172 hits and 177 innings. Gave up 19 home runs last year. And he will walk a dude. He will walk. Oh, he didn't give up a run. Okay. I, see, I'm a little bit. I Thank you for that. Hicks did not. I, I didn't think so. But I was tripping. It was a hit he gave up. Okay. It was a, he gave up one hit. One hit. Uh, so, yeah. Hicks versus Cease tomorrow. Uh, I don't mind Matos and AAA to begin with because he needs to play every day, but he's an early call-up. He'll probably go back down uh, when uh, Yaz comes back. Our game went well, so I'm not messing with the lineup. That's a good point. That's a good point. Morgan Farmer! I apologize for being four minutes late to that super chat. I hope you're still here. 99 cents. Holy Moses. Thank you so much. That is huge. I appreciate it. And uh, Chapman was phenomenal today. Who would be moved from the rotation when Ray comes back? We'll see at that point. Right now, it'll be you know, the fourth or fifth, the end of the rotation. Somebody down there in the fifth spot will, will get removed from it. But we'll see. I mean, it, I guess it's possible to go to six-man rotation if everybody's freaking dealing. But uh, you don't want to mess with it. But that would be, be amazing. I expect some injuries. I expect some some underperformance here and there this whole season we're, we're gonna have something you know, so a 162 it's like a lifetime it's a long season it's always gonna be ups and downs good times and bad times but um do you think they'll try and get bart some late back I, I, i'm waiting to see bart murphy's gonna play on baby's right tomorrow i'm 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 gonna go ahead and uh and guess that i mean i guess they really i mean there's a right hander tomorrow they like the fact that uh um, Bailey can switch hit, but I would think tomorrow we're going to see Tom Murphy start. Tom Murphy and Joey Bart are righties, but I would expect tomorrow, but I, I, I won't be totally shocked. We see, I, I don't know, but I won't be totally shocked either way. Um, oh my goodness. Tomás Linares, 499 pesos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 499 pesos from Tomas Linareso. A new season, a new hope. I like the team. Kyle pushes Bart and the and Flowers are my favorites this season. Have a great season and lots of views and subscribers. Oh, oh my goodness. That'll bring a tear to my eyes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Tomas Linareso. Thank you so very much. We appreciate that. And I hope that we do have a great season. And uh, we'll see how the views and the subscribers go. They have actually been relatively relatively small lately. But part of that is I haven't worked as hard because I was sick. Um, and I'm hoping to get back to it, get back to the documentaries, get back to the baseball videos. But, yeah, the last few videos have been relatively disappointing. But I'll take any view. I don't take views for granted. You know, I get a thousand views. Some people are like a thousand views. They get mad. I'm like, dude, it's a thousand freaking people just watch your video. That's still decent. Uh, yeah, you're not making the big bucks, but it's still, you know, I appreciate every view. Uh, you watch basketball movie. Uh, which basketball movie you're talking about? I've seen some basketball movies in my day. No doubt about it. I've seen some basketball movies in my day. What's that in dollars? Oh, I, 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 I know it. It ain't. Uh, I'll tell you, it, it, it's, it's still going to be substantial. $30.19. That is a huge super chat. In fact, the biggest one of the stream. Well, let's not get that twisted. $30 plus dollars from, from uh, Tomas Linareso. I greatly appreciate it. If someone actually sent me $499, I, would, I don't know what would happen. I would... I don't know what would happen. I've seen, there are some of the bigger YouTubers 
I've seen them get sent those kind of super chats, like thousands and thousands, you know, 500 here. And they, they, they get so many. There's like, I oh, appreciate that 500. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. And they'll just move on. I'm like, damn, if someone sent me 500, I'm going to talk about them for the rest of the day. Uh, <laughs> basketball movie search it up. It's baseball and basketball. Oh, basketball. Yeah, I saw that. I've seen that movie. It was, it was somewhat funny, sometimes a little bit oh, a little bit much, too much for me, a little kind of dumb for me, but um, I haven't seen it for a long time. I need to watch again. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it'll be funny, but yeah, uh, uh, it, it was, it was, it was, it was all right. Kyle Matos, Bart and Flores, my favoritos this season. People have been saying that Matt Chapman is washed. He's not washed. I, he ain't washed at all. He ain't washed at all. Not even close. Bart had had too many chances. This is his farewell chance. Oh, I agree with that. This is the same chance. If you guys remember 2019, um, I remember that, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, oh, gosh. Mac Williamson had had so many chances, and we finally gave up on Mac Williamson. He was in the minor leagues, and he was just tearing it up. He had three home runs in a game. He was just ripping home runs left and right. Giants were struggling. Fans were like, dude, let's might as well give him a, a, a this dude is on fire. Sure enough, we brought him up. He hit a home run right away, but then uh, uh he just kind of went downhill from there. Then remember he got hurt. Was that the season? I think he got hurt running over the bullpen, bullpen mound, hit another home run, but then they said he had a concussion and he was never the same. Ended up like suing the Giants or the stadium. Just a trip, that whole story. The weirdest thing is people forgot he hit a home run after, after the concussion, supposedly. But anyway, uh, I, I got off track. But what I was saying was that was his last chance. He didn't make it. This is Bart's last chance. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Same here, hated Renfro. Johnny Cage, what's going on? Jungle League is one of the reasons why we still have attention this season. I was used to seeing the Giants flying on the radar. We ain't going to be on the radar much longer. J.D. Davis, uh, like I said, hit two homers today, evidently, uh, which I kept, which we kept him after watching him play today. Oh, dude, we could have, we should have absolutely kept him. I'm not even saying don't sign J.D. Davis. I mean, don't sign Matt Chapman. Sign Matt Chapman like we did. Keep all the talent. Well, there ain't no spot for him. Ain't no spot. We'll find a spot. Like I said, first base. If Wade Jr., if everybody's tearing it up and tearing it up and tearing it up, you know, put them in the outfield. Put someone in the outfield. JD can play a little outfield. Wade can play outfield. He did today. You don't think we got an extra spot? Are you kidding me? There's always room. Look at the Dodgers. Do you think the Dodgers get rid of hey, imagine the Dodgers? Hey, uh, look, Freddie Freeman. Uh, we gotta let you go, bro. We just don't have no spot for you, man. We're just we're just full. No. They moved Mookie Betts to shortstop. You find spots. That's just me. Clearly, Bart outplayed both Bailey and Murphy. Bart should have been starting, and Bailey should be in the minors. If Bart struggles, you can always DFA Bart. Then have Bailey start. Um, take a chance. Ooh, but we are uh, – these are real games right here, and it's tough to leave it to Bart. Strike out King Bart, you know, and uh, we already know Bailey can play. And um, – that's a tough, tough call right there. Bailey kind of proved what he could do. We're not going to hold spring training against him too much. He wasn't trying to make the team. He already made the team, and he had two hits today. He's hitting 333, so he's doing okay so far this year. Gabe Hunkin, thank you so much, everyone. Max sued them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy. Fun team for sure. Uh, yeah, we should have kept JD. Should have kept JD, in my opinion. If you missed it, here's Matt Chapman hitting home runs. For the Giants. So with two outs and one on, here's Matt Chapman. Hit to center field. On the move is his oak car. Still on the move. He leaps and it is out of here. That poor girl got got hit like on the arm, but I think she's fine. Just a little bruise. Um, luck, luckily, she didn't get in the face or something. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, later in the game, Matt Chapman. High and deep to left. And out of here. Oh. 
Oh, my goodness. So Matt Chapman is an absolute beast. Shout out to everyone in the comments section. Bo Falcon. Bo Falcon. Bo Falcon has just gifted 10 Hum Baby memberships. Oh, my goodness. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but 10 gifties. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, 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 what an amazing stream. Uh, this season, if, if the streams go like this for the rest of the year, oh, my goodness. This, we, we got it made here at I Don't Make Baseball. But uh, I, I so much appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. I'm trying to... Uh, yeah. Try to see if I can shout out the uh, the new members. Thank you guys so much. Um, I plan to do a membership video today. I didn't quite get to it, but hopefully I'll get one up tonight or tomorrow. Morgan Farmer, Warlock9148, Malone Labe. It's your boy, PK Man, OG, Slim Reaper 209, Sean Rocha, Anthony Betts. It's your boy, Golden Jets, Chase Gaming, Tyler Burbeck. I believe that's it. Uh, we already have already current members as well. Thank you so much, the Cali Ogie Connection. Thank you to all the current members, Robert Hamilton, Steve Ch Chowser. Thank you so much to all of you as well. AM Echo Sky, if I missed any, all members, y'all are amazing. And all subscribers, you're amazing. And if you're here and not subscribed, you're cool too because you're here. So thank you. Jim Thurlkill, what is up? Thoughts on Lee and Chapman if he stays healthy? Chapman is gonna gonna uh, we're we'll gonna we're we'll gonna have MVP ca candidates on this team. Make it back, oh, dude, large turkey. I kind of needed it. I ain't gonna lie. Like Humbay baseball been a little bit struggling, a like, little bit struggling lately, little bit struggling lately. But we're we're going strong. We 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 gonna stick with it. Um, have you made the Jeffrey Leonard one flag down, one flap down emoji? Not as of yet, Dulce Maris. I need to do that one flap down. That was my day. That was my day. I. People don't know how old I am. I was around back in 1987 watching the one flap down. Do you think you'll do these post games right after the game or start a certain time every night? It just depends. Eric, I will try to put a estimated start time um, when I schedule them. Sometimes they'll start right after the game. It's kind of my preference, but sometimes I need a little time because I might be watching the game somewhere else. Or I might need some time to set up, download more videos, and get things set up. I like to have the videos and do the recap. So it just depends. Sometimes I'll be in the car. I, I don't like the car videos, but I will be doing some traveling. I'll be going to some minor league games this year. Going to some River Cats games for sure. San Jose Giants. And some minor league teams. And some serious travel. Out of the state travel. We're going to be all over the place. So, um We'll see. And I may be in Texas in July for the home run derby and maybe all-star game. Um, maybe we will be there at the all-star game, uh, which I don't need to cover it because it's going to be covered extensively on TV, but it'll be cool. I, I would like to be there and at least um, try to do something, something special for the channel. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, sounds good. I'll keep, keep the notifications going. I'm still bitter. My hometown Fresno lost the giants. Yeah. Not only did they lose the giants, triple a team, they lost their triple a team period. They're low a now. Can I show JD Davis home runs? Uh, can I do that? Uh, I don't have any JD Davis. home. Runs. I got, I, I might have his, I might have his spring training home run with the giants, which I think turned out to be his last home run as a giant, not in a regular season game, but like in his, any kind of competitive game. Spring training, Matt Chapman, opposite field against the A's. Matt Chapman, J.D. Davis. And I, and I got J.D.'s autograph on a ball in spring training, and I'm glad I did because uh, I didn't know he was going to be gone. Really disappointed on that, but you know what? We move on. Please show J.D.'s home. Okay, let me see if I can get it. I, I can't. Uh, I know someone downloaded it and put it on. Someone put it on YouTube which uh, someone put it on YouTube. Let's see if I can find it. I 
And I, and I put like my my exact video on YouTube. This is not mine, but this one looks pretty cool. The pitch, Davis swings, lines one out of the deep left. Langford going back. Langford turns. He'll watch it go. The pitch, Damn. Davis swings, lines one out of the deep left. Langford going back. Langford turns. He'll watch it go. That was a nice shot from J.D. Davis right there. Where's the one I recorded? Not exactly sure. I know. I thought I, th I, I, I saw it earlier. Or maybe it was Matos's. I don't know. But people have been taking all my videos and putting them on YouTube. But that's okay because it promotes the Giants, promotes these guys. And, you know, I don't completely mind. It would be cool if they gave me credit and cool if they put a link to me. That would have been nice. But, oh, well. Uh, J.D. Davis. Uh, what is going on? Here we have. You're going to see the Eclipse. Oh, yeah, the Eclipse. Farhan gave us a winning team. Jenny meant today's A's home runs. Oh, today's home runs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. See if we can get that. Give me a couple minutes. Give me a couple, uh, one minute. Bring those up. J.D. Davis makes a strong impression with the A's. Two, not one. Not one. Oh. Not one, but two big flies. Whoops. For J.D. Davis. Played, but still balanced enough. Sports center field as well, tracking it back. Freeman, and he's going to leave. How about another homer? J.D. Played, but still balanced enough. Sports center field as well. Tracking it back. Freeman. And he's going to leave. How about another homer? There you have it. J.D. Davis. What a machine right there. Just a natural swing. And uh, there it is. Uh, J.D. Davis. In an age uniform, we definitely miss a JD who seen Patrick Bailey's cannon arm last year, nailing runners trying to steal. That's awesome. 10 gifties, Bo Falcon. Thank you again. And everyone else, I do appreciate it. 49er Media, thank you, everyone. All the amazing support. And I, I apologize. I didn't even I didn't even think about um playing the, the guitar. I didn't it didn't even cross my freaking mind. Let's check out a little, a little, a little more highlights and, and see if I can. Grab it. Chapman a home run, a line drive out to Tatis in right field, and then a fly ball to left. Line drive into left center field, and nobody's there. Coming around to score is Solaire, and Chapman's got an RBI double in a two strike count. All right, ladies and gents. It's a victory for the San Francisco Giants. Thank you all for the amazing support. Uh, but uh, uh, hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Not sexist, but she needs to work on her home run call. I, uh, you know, a lot of home run calls are not the best. I've heard of much worse for sure. But, uh, I mean, we're, we're spoiled over here. Dwayne Kuyper, uh, John Miller. Um, adios, pelota. Then you got uh Fleming gone. Uh, we got out of here. One of the best. We got uh some amazing home run calls. I can tell you that much. So, here we go.
giants come to town. It's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down. It's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park. Cheer for the banner and light the spark. Thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, it's your boy. I appreciate it, everybody. Uh, Dulce Maris, opening day. Oh, opening day, the song. I haven't even practiced that song for quite some time. Apologies, I can't remember the words of the verse offhand. I haven't been practicing playing that song for a while, but uh, it is what it is here. Oh, yeah, I love this song. Thank God. We got a gifty. We got to get all oh, thank you for the gift. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's Bo Falcon. You're welcome for that gifty, Gabe Hunker. Thank you guys, everyone. I do appreciate the amazing support. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you, Morgan Farmer. Thank you, Aaron Lindo Rocha. Everybody. I'm out. Giants win. Let's keep it going tomorrow. If I can, I'll do a pregame. If not, we'll see you after the game. To try it for another. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Chapman. Wilmer Flores comes through. Come, baby! Let's do it!
Yeah. <laughs>